Hello everyone, my name is Karan Masu. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at the solution of the problem that is number of pairs. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? It says that given two arrays x and y of positive integers, find the number of pairs such that x key power y is greater than y key power x, where x is an element from x and y is an element from y. So basically, uh, there are two arrays x and y given and if we select one element from x and one element from array y, it will form a pair. So total, let's say there are m elements in x and n element in y, then at max there are n into m pairs possible. Now out of all these possible pairs, we need to tell the number of pairs such that uh, x key power y is greater than y key power x, where x is an element from array x and y is an element from array y. Okay. So this is one example here, uh, there are three pairs that is 2 key power 1 is greater than 1 key power 2. So x is 2, y is 1, 2 key power 5 is greater than 5 key power 2. So x is 2, y is 5 and 6 key power 1 is greater than 1 key power 6. So x is 6 and y is 1. Okay. Similarly, this second example, the output is 5. This is a function problem. You only need to complete the function count pairs that takes x, y, m and n as parameters and returns the total number of pairs. The expected time complexity is n plus m log n and expected auxiliary space is constant. So if we think about solving this problem, then basically we are given two arrays x and y where x contains m number of elements and n, y contains n number of elements. We need to select an element from array x and an element from array y such that x key power y is greater than y key power x. So we need to tell the number of such pairs possible. Now you see here, there is a rule with an x. First of all, what will be the brute force approach? Just loop over both the arrays. For each value of x, loop over the complete array y. So the time complexity will be n cross m. And for every pair, check whether x key power y is greater than y key power x or not. But that would be very inefficient solution. So we need to think of something more efficient. Now, there is a rule for this, which always uh, which satisfies with some exceptions. So we will uh, see the rule and the exceptions also and then look at the implementation. What is the rule? If y is greater than x, then x key power y is greater than y key power x. For example, x is 3 and y is 5. So x is 3, y is 5, 3 key power 5 is greater than 5 key power 3. 3 key power 5 is how much? 81 into 9 is greater than 5 key power 3 is 125. This is I think 729. It is greater than 125 obviously. So this is true. So in general whenever y is greater than x, x key power y is greater than y key power x. But there are some exceptions. So let us look at the exceptions. What is the exception? Whenever x is 0, the answer... Uh, uh, there are no values of y which uh, will uh, make a pair with uh, 0 when x is 0 such that x key power y is greater than y key power x because if x is 0 then x key power y greater than y key power x x is 0 so this becomes 0 and y key power 0 will become 1 so this will not satisfy so for all x equals to 0 the answer is 0 there are no pairs forming with those x values second thing if the x value is 1, then the number of pairs forming with this 1 is the number of zeros in y. Because uh, with 1, what happens? This rule fails. For example, x equals to 1 and y equals to 5. Now, y is greater than x, but x key power of y is what? 1 key power 5 is greater than 5 key power 1? No. So, this fails. So, whenever x is 1, but y equals to 0 will satisfy because x is 1, y is 0. So 1 key power 0 is greater than 0 key power 1. Yes, 1 is greater than 0. This is true. So for all x equals to 1, the number of pairs formed with this x is number of zeros in y. Third thing is, then, so we look the first and second exception. What is the third exception? For all values of x other than x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. So for all values starting from 2 onwards, y equal to 0 and y equal to 1 also forms a pair. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is, let's say x is 6, so y equals to 0, now y is not greater than x, it does not satisfy this condition, but this will satisfy the inequality. So x key power y is greater than y key power x, yes, 1 is greater than 0. Also, when x is equals to 6 and y equals to 1, so x key power y is greater than y key power x, yes, this is also true. So for all values of x greater than or equal to 2, it will also form a pair with all values of y where y is 0 or 1. That's the third exception. And the fourth exception are these three exceptions, x equal to 2 and y equal to 3 do not satisfy this condition because 2 key power 3 is not greater than 3 key power 2 even though y is greater than x. 
This also does not satisfy. So 2 key power 4 is greater than 4 key power 2. No, even though y is greater than x. Here y is less than x, but even though this pair will satisfy. So 3 key power 2 is greater than 2 key power 3. Yes, 9 is greater than 8. So this will satisfy and this 2 does not satisfy. Even though here y is greater than x and here y is less than x. Okay. Now how can we efficiently implement it? So we will traverse the array x and what we want is first of all for each value of x if x is 0 it will not form a pair if x is 1 uh, the number of y's uh, number of zeros in y will form the pair with this x whenever uh, uh, for other values number of zeros and number of ones in y will also be added because if x is equals to 6 it will form a pair with all the values of y equal to 0 and all the values of y equal to 1. Uh, and all the values of y greater than x right so this also i need and i need to take care of this exception also so one thing two things i will do one is i will maintain the count of zeros ones twos threes and fours of y in four variables c0 c1 c2 c3 c4 so that i can use them uh, instantly okay second thing i will first of all short both the arrays and then I will keep a pointer. How will this help me? Suppose this is array x, this is array y. Suppose I am at a particular pointer i and let's say this is the first point j, first index j such that y of j is greater than x of i. Then for all these values of y, it will form a pair with this x of i because if y of j is greater than x of i, then other values will also be greater than x of i because both the arrays are in shorted form. And when y is greater than x, then all these values will form a valid pair with this such that x key power y is greater than y key power x. So the number of pairs here would be n minus j. So I can directly add this to my answer. Also for uh, next value of i that is i plus 1, the first value of j which is greater than x of i plus 1 will be either this or bigger than this. It cannot be smaller. So I will keep moving these two pointers on the right hand side as and when needed. So I will require only two for loops that is big O of n. And then uh, the exception cases will be handled separately using these variables. Now let's look at its actual implementation to understand better. So if we look at the actual implementation, so we have x array, y array, m is the number of elements in x, n is the number of elements in y, then answer equals to 0, then c0, c1, c2, c3 and c4 all are 0 initially. I have shorted the arrays. Then I want the count of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in array y. So I have traversed the array y and uh, respectively whenever I encounter 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, I have incremented the counters. Okay. Then uh, what I have done is uh, I have traversed the x array completely and whenever x is 0, there is no possible pairs. So I have done nothing. Whenever x equals to 1, all the y values where y is 0 will form a pair. So I have added count of 0. Other than that, uh, zero, zeros in y and ones in y will always form a pair. We saw in the third exception here. We saw in the third exception here. So what I have done here is uh, I have whenever x is not 0 or not 1, first of all, add the count of zeros and ones in y. Then first of all, I need to find the first index j where the value of y is greater than x. So while j is less than n and y of j is less than or equal to x of i, j plus plus. Then uh, from that value of j up till n minus 1, all the y values will form a pair with x because those values are greater than x of i. So answer equals to answer plus n minus j. Now if x of i is 2, then I will subtract the count of 3 and count of 4 because uh, these are the exceptions which I want to take care. And if uh, x is 3, then I will add the count of 2. So if x is 2, I will subtract the count of 3 and 4. And if x is equals to 3, I will add the count of 2 and finally return my answer. Okay. What would be the time complexity? It would be big O of n log n plus m log m because we are shorting the array. And what would be the auxiliary space? The auxiliary space here would be constant because we are not using any new array. Okay. Now let's submit this code. Okay. So let's submit it. Okay, so we have solved this question successfully. I hope you have understood this solution completely. Thank you.